Boom, bam, nani? Hey, what's up guys, it's Ginger here. Welcome back to a new video, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do a white axis shake with the zoom in. So before we actually get into the video, make sure you guys have the software plugin, and yeah, but, and also make sure you guys have your clips inside your timeline, your audio, and your things all marked up to the beats. And make sure that your clips are have been disabled. So let's get right into the video. Head over to the video effects tab and find S Mobile Curves and put in drop in the effect. Copy my preset, which is just cheese to change to reflect. Open up ZDisk and Shift Y. Change the ZDisk to 0.1 go all the way to the end over here zoom it all back out go over here change this to 100 go 5 to the right put this in negative move 5 to the right then change this to 10 you can just change it to 0 and you can just do it over here change it to fast fade and slow fade and you can just zoom it in over here so make sure this has to be four away from the zoom in. So one, two, three, four, looks like it's not, here it is. So now you have this Y, X shake with that. So now we can just copy this and you can paste the attribute onto here. You can work here, make sure it's four away from it. One, two, three, four. Okay, looks nice. And I'm just gonna paste the attributes on the other clips. So I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished up all the clips and I made sure they looks nice. So now let's watch it. Looks pretty nice to me, but as you can see, you can see a little reflect over here. You can see over here. So, what we want to do with that, right? You can do two things. You can um, drag your Esmo Blimmer curve onto your timeline and just zoom it in by doing this. Or you could add black bars. Would be better because it can save the quality of your edit rather than zooming it in. So we can just go to media generator, find solid color, grab white, put it on your timeline and go over here to this bars, find this, then just put on mask. And you can just go over here, go pen and crop, and just do this. And yeah, now you have black bars. And If it's a little bit too bouncy for you, you can go into the effect bar and you can just turn this a little bit down or if you want it more, you can turn it a little bit up. You just uh, just play around with it and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was just a short one and yeah, hope you guys like, subscribe and yeah, see you guys later.